Hello my loves, so what is good? I hope you are all doing well. Today I want to get into doing eyeshadows um, and turning them into face paint, which I have eyeshadow all over my face and I managed to make it into face paint like I just said. Anyways, we're going to get into that. So I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. Um, and if you want to see more creative looks like this, then go over to my Instagram. It's Victoria Jane with two Vs at the start. And um, that's where I normally post my creative looks like this um, on the daily. So if you want to check that out, then of course, go ahead. But yeah, I'm excited to get into this. So let's get going. Okay, guys, let's get started. So I'm going to start with getting... A like palette or like a cotton board plate anything that you are able to put um, foundations and eyeshadows onto that's going to basically come back off again because you don't want to be wrecking anything and um, but foundations do come off easily most things such as this so I've just got a small plastic cotton board I'm also going to be getting one of my favorite palettes this is the Morphe 35B and um, it's the original color burst palette which looks like this so it's not the new updated one, um, but I have a lot of shades in here that I'm going to be using. And this is the only palette that I need for today's look. Um, it's got a lot of colour and they're pigmented, so I'm kind of going for that pastel -y kind of vibe. So this will be perfect for that. And I'm also going to be using foundation. And the foundation I'm going to be going into is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. I've got two because one of them is almost run out, so... I might as well use it up and um, but this is in the shade f0 this is great in my opinion for mixing eyeshadows into or getting a lighter color and um, so it does make the color lighter but for today's look that's fine um, and also you can just add in more eyeshadow pigment to mix to make it deeper but i'm going to show you all that as well so we've got those two but what i'm going to do first is i'm going to get my board and i'm going to start with the first color i'm just getting my inspiration for today my inspiration for today, guys, is I believe her name is Rui or Rui Singh. I hope that's her name. I'm so sorry. I don't mean to offend um, her if I've said that wrong, but I will basically link her page down below to show the inspiration. Um, but yeah, she's a beautiful, beautiful, amazing, talented girl. Um, and I love this ever since I've seen it. So I'm going to try and get some inspiration from that. But basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the palette. And the first shade is on is it goes from like a pink to purple so i'm gonna go and get this shade right here it is a bright pink and i'm just gonna apply some of that onto the board now normally what i would use to scrape this off with is you can use scissors if you want and um, just anything sharp basically but of course be careful because i ain't trying to injure anyone here by doing this this is just how i do it so just keep in mind be careful but all i'm going to do is this is pretty awkward to do but I'm going to scrape the pigment, and I've just got some t sharp tweezers here. I'm going to scrape the pigment off, so it doesn't matter if it goes into other colours, it's completely fine because it blows away at the end of the day. But I'm going to scrape that off onto the palette. Once I've done that, I will show you guys exactly what I mean. Okay, so I don't know if you can see up close, but I have actually scraped some of the eyeshadow out of there. There's heaps of like scratch marks. That was loud. And this is what the actual eyeshadow looks like. So it's in heaps, like fine little milled parts um, that's been scraped off. And I've just basically put that in the middle of my board. I'm gonna lay my palette to the side for now. And I'm gonna go in with my conceal and foundation. Conceal and foundation, conceal and define foundation. Cannot speak today, wow. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the actual applicator. This has got pink all over it, but I only use this for my face painting, so it's fine. But I'm gonna take some of this and literally place it onto the board. I'm going to get a good amount of that and then show you how much I normally use. And um, this is only going to be covering this part of my head, so I'm not going to need a great amount, but I'm going to get enough just so I don't have to go in and get a spare bit. I'll continue doing that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've went in a good amount. I don't know if you can see there, but that is the white foundation right there and that is the pigment, of course. So all I'm going to do now is get a flat brush like this. This is like a foundation brush. Um, and all I'm going to do is just take the pigment and the eyeshadow and mix. That's literally all I'm going to do. I just want to get this evenly coated with the pigment and the foundation. It's almost going to create this light pastel pink, which is exactly what I wanted. So just keep in mind that the um, white foundation does make the eyeshadow lighten, just because it is obviously white um, and it is very pigmented. So. We have that, I'm just going to coat that on both sides so we make sure that it's covered. Now, that is literally the step to making eyeshadow into face paint. You can now 
put this all over your face and you've got face paint you can use a small detailed brush if you want to use that instead here is one here that i have if you want to do some detailed work for me i'm going to be blending in colors all over my face so it's going to be quick and it's going to be easy so what i'm going to do is i'm also going to grab a sponge and um, this is a dirty one so i use this for my face paint normally it's stained pink for my last one which is fine so i'm going to go in with this one today and this one is from real techniques this is 5.99 compared to the beauty blender which is about 16 pound and um, it works amazing it is very very bouncy in 100 percent recommend this if you don't already it's a cheap alternative so i'm going to be using that but first of all i'm going to just get that mixture onto my brush so it's nice and coated on both sides i'm just going to grab a mirror and where i want this to start is at the top of my head i'm just showing you the guy and um, showing you guys this look as well as actually doing the um how to make the face paint so we're going to start with putting this at the top of the head and look how pigmented that is guys because of this foundation how thick and how um, full coverage it is, it does as well make the face paints pigmented and full coverage, which is literally the best thing. I'm going to put this in my hair, which, oh my God, I'm going to regret later on, but it's worth it, it's fine. I think I'm going to put on a wig. Um, but yeah, so we're just going to pat that on like that. I'm going to put it on until I'm happy with exactly the placement I put it. So I think that is a good shout there. Now this is where I go in with my damp beauty sponge. Make sure that it is damp just because then it does um, help the product blend out evenly. And I'm going to go in over the top of that pink and just blend it out. And just a quick reminder, it's very fast drying. So you do want to go straight in. Once you've placed exactly where you want to put the product, I would go in straight away with that sponge and blend that out evenly. There, that is pigmented. It is covered my forehead literally and it is bright pastel pink, which is beautiful now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just do the same with the other colors i'm going to just show you one more time what i mean so next i'm going to go in with it's like a purple like a lilac so we're going to go in i think what is that one is that a shimmer we're going to go in with this one here you can't really see it but it's like a shimmery purple which i think will look really cute so we're going to go in with that one right there and i'm going to do the same so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my tweezers i'm going to scrape off some onto the actual palette here is the pigment the purple right there and i'm now going to go in and get a reasonable amount of product onto the um mixing plate we'll say that sounds so fucking wrong so that is the amount right there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that's the white foundation. And then there's the pigment. So I'm just going to go in with that same brush, even though we have pink on there. I'm going to just use a wet wipe to take that off. And um, it's not going to take it completely off, of course, but it's going to take off the remaining residue that's still on there. that's still wet and just take that off. See how it's taken off basically just the excess. That's all we need. Um, I have pigment on this finger, so I'm not touching on. So I'm like, and then again, get to mixing the pigments carefully because I'm doing this at a really awkward angle. <laughs> and now I'm going to apply this just under the pink. Now we've created this pink to purple like gradual. And I'm going to blend that out there like so. I'm going to go back in with that sponge and I'm just going to use the exact same side that I use. I'm going to keep using this exact same side for all of it. And again, I'm just going to blend that basically into the pink so we don't have any sharp lines over the eyes so there is no tackiness. Like so. So we've got this pink to purple gradual. It's still very pigmented. You can see the colour clear as day. And yeah, one of my favourite techniques ever to get a eyeshadow turned into a face paint so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly go ahead and skip through me putting the rest of the colors on and um, i'll maybe do like a fast video pace for this and then i'll get back to you on the rest <laughs> Okay guys, so the face 
for the base is done i'm going to go back in with the same colors from the morphe 35b palette and just basically go over them so i am just going to go in with a fluffy brush this is dirty but what's new and i'm going to start with that pink that we first scraped some pigment out of and i'm basically just going to start patting this all over um and I'm going to do this for each colour, so I'll get back to you when I've done that. Hey guys, so we're back, and this is what I've ended up with so far. And um, Basically, I just used, like I said, the same shades um, in the palette, but I've just went over them a bit more, just so there is more um, pigment there. But we've got this rainbow contrast going on. The yellow, for some reason, was not picking up, which sucks ass, because it looks like lime green and then normal green and then blue. I don't fucking know, I tried. I'm now going to get on to doing the rest of the face. So, I'm going to go in with, I'm thinking, ooh, I think Eldora Lashes in M111. They are huge ass lashes. Absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to go in with them and glue those on. Oh yeah, that's the ones. Hello. Okay, so I have just smudged a bit of mascara underneath my eye. I'm going to wait for that to dry and then take a spoolie to get it off because we're going to ignore her for now. But what I'm going to go in with next, I've done the mascara. I'm going to go in now with the gems. I want gems to add on just like the girl has. I've took the inspo from. And the gems I'm going to go in with today are from Go Get Glitter. They look like this. Gorgeous gems. And we're just going to add them it just in now. These are called Chandelier, I believe. Chandelier. So pretty. So I'm going to add the head one just now. The one that goes at the top. All the Z heads. Place this exactly where I want it. So pretty. Oh my god, wow. Wow. Now I'm going to add some gloss. Maybe this one. Okay, so I've just went, went in with two of Anastasia's glosses. These are in the shades Pearl and Pink Termaline, I believe. So just these two here. And I've just done like an ombre mixture of those two. I might add a chain to my nose ring. I don't know, I'm gonna think about that. Let me go in and see what I have. Um and then, yeah, I'm going to change my wig and then get back on here. Hey guys, so we're back. I've literally just chucked on a lilac coloured wig. Sorry, it's not on properly. I know it don't come for me and it's not glued down. Please just don't. But I've added on a chain. Yeah, I've added the chain that. So all the last thing that I'm going to do is, which I completely forgot about, is add the highlight. So I'm going to go in with the Sub-Zero Highlighting Palette with Be Perfect Cosmetics and Mitchell. I'm going to take that on my Morphe R36 and I'm going to go into this blue toned shift right here. It's called M, which I love. And we're going to add that to the tip of my nose, the bridge, the chin area, the highlights of the cheeks, like that. So I think that is our look done, guys. I hope you did enjoy this. I ended up doing a full look and also creating uh, eyeshadows into paint. I really enjoyed it myself. So I was able to, I'm glad I was able to show you guys because I know this has been requested for for so damn long um, ever since I started showing it on my live on Instagram. So I'm so happy I was able to get this film for you guys and show you. Um, but yeah, this is the completed look. So happy with how it came out. The pigments weren't as, um, sorry, the eyeshadows weren't as pigmented as I hope. It still works great. Obviously, you can tell. You can just go over it with eyeshadow if the pigment isn't as um, bright as you want it to be. You can just go over with the eyeshadows or different ones if you have. Um, but yeah, that is us finished. As always, please like and subscribe if you want to. Um, if you want to see more of like my creative looks like this, um, then head over to my Instagram. It's Victoria Jane with two Vs at the start. I'm going to tag everything down below just so you know um, all my socials and all that like usual. And yeah, I cannot wait to see you guys in the next one. I love yous. Bye.